Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do De Morgan's simplification. Before we start, you have to learn what is an operator and what is a sub expression. There you can see I have indicated the dominant operators in green. The dominant operator of any expression under a large bar can only either be or or and. In this case, the dominant operator is or. And we know this because the sub-expressions, there are the sub-expressions, are contained between the dominant operator. A bracket over a term is the same as a bar. It collects the terms under it, just like the bracket collects the terms within it. So here's another example. Can you spot the dominant operator and the sub-expressions? If you said and, you would be correct because and is the dominant operator between these sub-expressions and there we have the sub-expressions circled in red. The rule is to bar the sub-expressions and change the dominant operator at the same time when removing the big bar and then you subsequently perform this same rule as you remove smaller bars under the big bar. Start from the top of the expression and work down in layers using the rule above repeatedly when you remove each bar. Until no De Morgan terms are left a De Morgan term is any time a bar goes over more than one letter. Continue to simplify using the rules or Carnot maps after you finish removing all De Morgan terms until you get to the simplest form. Now we're ready to apply the rule to our first problem. Notice I've written the sub-expressions with space between them and the big bar or great bar that goes over everything completely removed. Here's what we do. We have changed from an or to an and and we have put a bar over each of the sub expressions. Now we rewrite the expression removing the double bars over the first and the third term and we have rewritten the expression leaving a space so that when we remove the bar over the middle term we have an opportunity to change the operator. Observe how we do that. That is the application of our same rule to the bar that still remains, the De Morgan's term that still remains in the middle of our expression. Once again, we can remove the double bar as we copy back the expression. Finally, as you can see, we have applied brackets wherever a big bar was removed. In the first case, we remove the gigantic bar over the entire expression, so we bracketed. Though that top set of brackets is not necessary 
because it brackets the entire expression. But when we remove the double bars in the third sub-expression, we had to bracket that. And when we remove the bar in the middle expression as part of the expansion, we had to bracket that as well. Finally, we see that the big bars have been removed wherever they go over more than one letter. We sub-expressions are in red and the operators are in green, just as we did in the last video. And finally, the rule that allows us to remove the double bars is A bar bar equal to A. Let's apply this rule to the second expression. First, we remove the big bar and we write out each of the sub-expressions with another bar over it, changing the operators as we did before. The first and the third term from the left, we need to use that procedure again. And the second and the fourth term from the left have double bars which can simply be removed. We do that now, first removing the bar and barring the things underneath and changing the operator, and then removing the double bars. Finally, we can remove the brackets in this expression because it doesn't change the sense of the operation. We have ors which dominate and what's in the brackets is and. We only usually need to use brackets when we have ands dominating and ors in the brackets. Think the sum of products and product of sums. Notice that the product of sums has the brackets and the sum of products does not. So just like in ordinary mathematics, the brackets are required for addition but not for multiplication. We're now ready to do our final simplification, first on the first expression and then on the second. So we multiply out the brackets, which should give us four terms. We multiply the A bar C with the A bar and the B bar, and then we multiply the A bar C with the A bar and the C, and then finally we switch to the A bar C B and multiply it with first the B bar and then the C as shown. Now we can uh, remove redundant letters. As you can see, we, we can remove an A bar from the first term, an A bar from, and a C from the second term. The third term goes to zero, and we remove the double C in the last term. Why does the third term go to zero? Well, as you can see, it has B and B bar, and there is the rule that allows us to get a zero for that third term. Finally, we can extract the B bar from the first term using the rule for the first and second and use the second term with the last term to extract the B, which gives us a final answer of A bar C. Let us complete the final simplification of the second expression. And we're going to do that using the truth table. So we take the first term, x, y bar, and we put in the ones, and then we take the next term, x, y, we put in the ones, 
we do the same thing for y bar z bar and x bar z and we are left with only one zero in the function and that zero gives us our final answer of x or y bar or z thanks for watching and see you in the next video